Five installs this week. You would have had no idea that you could fit the dining table as well as the lounge. We've got a whole lot of new stock. We picked it up and we're trying to find room for it. It's a bit messy at the moment. And Phoebe talks us through how to use cushions to style a bedroom. So there is such a thing as too many cushions. This is Foxy TV, episode 65. Let's figure it out. Pulling it now. Three in a car, one in a truck. Valuable and adding value to your clients. Monday, the team was straight into it with two installs the first in Carindale and the second in Highgate Hill. I met them at the second install in Highgate Hill. Let's take a look. So, Phoebe, Highgate Hill, here we are, we're finished. Um, tell us a little bit about this one. This is another little one bedroom apartment. Um, this one, just given the current environment, the owner was actually teetering on the edge of not styling. So um, the conversation with the agent, it's integral to style an apartment like this of this size to really show off the size. Like you would have had no idea that you could fit the dining table as well as the lounge with an extra sitting space in, in the bedroom, just to really show it off. And it, this one, it, it's the smaller apartments, the smaller houses that styling really has the biggest impact. Um, as far as price goes, I reckon. And it's Monday, uh, you said this came through on Friday? Yeah, Friday night, I, I was at home, Jess called me um, like five o'clock Friday afternoon, maybe six, um, to confirm that she'd like it to go ahead. So, um, turn it around, did some work on the weekend, but that's okay. The guys went on to a pack up in Shaler Park. I didn't go with them though, so let's jump to Tuesday. Nice sunny day today. Russ has got his palms, trucks. Well, there's a few things on the truck. What's happening today, Ken? Got a small pack up in Wishart. Yeah. Uh, sorry, a small install in Wishart, and a very large pack up in Arendelle. At least the sun's out. The sun's out. 24 degrees today, so Lovely. nice and toasty. The truck and Janessa have just gone. Jake, you've just arrived. What's going on? Get my, my fun socks ready, and then I'm off to a pack up. I'm down to collect some keys. A pack up. I'm gonna do a bit of filming there before. The, the guys you take my job. Yeah, <laughs> see if I can see how we compare. <laughs> Sounds good. So, an install in Wishart first up is photos. Then, on to a big pack up in Carindale. Once the team got back, they unloaded the truck, we had a bit of a chat, and we had some rugs arrive. West End, uh, and then we've got a pack up and a slight removal after that, and then another little uh, pack up, uh, hopefully fit on the back of the truck as well. So three jobs today. While the team were at the install at West End, I caught up with Phoebe upstairs here, and she ran through some advice on how to use cushions um, to style a bedroom. That's ironic because I'm asking you about cushions. <laughs> yep, I'm out of space. Let's start things off. How many cushions should I have on my bed? Uh, so that depends if it's a master, well, for us, for styling. Um, depends if it's a master bed or double bed or single bed. So there is such a thing as too many cushions. Okay. Um, on a master bed that's a king size or a queen size, we work off about five scatter cushions. So normally we'll have two of the bigger ones, two smaller ones in front, and then um, like an oblong in front. Um, the so better answer. That's like literally where they are now. We did. Every all good. We had, yeah they were there to let us in so everyone's happy. Perfect. Okay talk to you soon bye. Um, yeah so that's a master bed. For a double bed, we sort of work off three cushions, um, and they're just different sizes. And then on a single bed, we just do the two. Okay. And or one cushion and one toy. And that's for styling when we style beds. Can you also follow that those rules oh, for at home? Absolutely. If you live in there, um, if you're like me, I own none. 
<laughs> um, <laughs> now, might be a strange question, but what order or formation, I suppose, mm -hmm. taking a, a sports terminology, <laughs> should you put the pillows in? Is it bigger? So, yeah, like a, like a V, like the ducks fly. Okay. Uh, yeah. So bigger cushions at the back, your smaller cushions at the front, and then um, an oblong or a small feather choppy or something like that in the very front, just to sort of help it help the line of sight I guess because otherwise you're going to be hiding your cushions and the bigger ones tend to cost more money so you want them to be a feature but yeah anyway. Um, what colours work well together? It really depends on if what colour your room is then that's always my answer so if you've got grey paint I'd go with more of a charcoal bed or black and white or any colours I would stick away from the beige and the cream though if you've got a cream bedroom I would go with the beige and the cream and stick away from the charcoals and the grey but colour actual colour tones pinks um, the greens the mustards the blues they work in regardless of whether um, your your room is gray the walls are painted gray or if they're cream um, be adventurous like match them like we've got one that we've got plum and olive green going in um, next week we've got we've done blue and black navy blue and black we've done um, how much more adventurous have we been uh, yeah anyway teal hmm. and would you sort of for a darker room, you obviously use lighter colours, is that a...? Uh, for sale, yeah I would, because you're trying to get, make your space feel as light and as bright as possible. And that's as much natural light in the room as possible, but lighter t fabrics tend to bounce the natural light around a little bit more so than the darker fabrics. I ha We have darker fabrics on our bed at home for living in, because uh, my husband, just Jake, just can't sleep in a light room and that, and that sounds really stupid but um, it's, it's a, we've got a moody dark room so it definitely works either way um, if you if you're going for a moody feel go for a darker linen but we tend to use lighter linen especially a white duna cover on a master bed for sale where do you buy your pillows from oh all over the shop so again my answer was we now do wholesale um, yeah, to start off with pillow talk adairs freedom have some great cushions um, trade link send us and sell um, some wholesale cushions and so mattress link things like that they don't have the feather insert so uh, and that's why mattress links cushions looks amazing so buy them from trade link for like no, trade secret for um, like $5 a cushion and then go get your feather insert and you've got a $100 cushion for 30 bucks. Um, now we go ED Lifestyle, so a heap of big um, wholesalers which you do need an ABN for, but if stylists are watching, we ED Lifestyle, Canvas and Sesson, don't know if that's how you say it, Paloma Living, um, oh, heap, there's heaps, heaps yep. and heaps. Um, and last question, any particular materials? No. No. Be brave. Oh, we don't you tend to use the polyester stuff because all the stuff that you see at Kmart. We don't really use um, any of the cushions actually that you see from Kmart or from Target. They don't give the luxe vibe. When you pull them all together, they don't go together as nicely as if we are when we're mixing our textures and our patterns. So, um, big fan of mixing patterns and textures at the moment. Big fans of mixing different size cushions bring in a leather cushion, go for lots of um, natural jute or hemp fibres, lots of um, cotton, heat, all different. Be adventurous. Okay. Phoebe was then providing some support to the team um, at the install. It's completely full. Holy and moly. <laughs> and then Is that the front door there? That's a, go back, that's yeah. the front door, right? Yeah. So what's that? <clears throat> Is that an entertainment unit in the front door? Was that an entertainment unit just randomly at the front door? <laughs> can we put that anywhere? We can put it in the front of the house. Mm. All right. I then asked Jake to give us a bit of an update on the numbers. So how is this week looking, Jake? How many installs this week? This has been a really good week. Um, we, I think we've got five by the end of the week we will have done. So we're at three today and we've got another two um, to go. Is that our best week since it's been the start of Yeah, it's been the best week for a little while. Um, next week, it's looking, we've, we've got two at this stage, but again, more consults, quotes out at the moment. So hopefully we get a few of those locked in. Um, the, the target for May, and this was before any coronavirus impact and we haven't actually changed it, but it was about 28, we're gonna hit I think 14, so actually picked up, you know, April was even less than that, so we've actually come good. Um, 
compared to what we were probably expecting and hopefully June we'll, we'll see get back to normal-ish sort of levels as well. Thursday the team had an install in South Brisbane which came up looking really good. I had the day off though so I'll show you some of the photos that were taken. The team then went and picked up a bunch of accessories and furniture, I think two truckloads in the end. Let's jump to Friday today to have a look at what we got. So Jake, what's happening here? Um, so the guys yesterday and, and ladies went and picked up um, a load of accessories, cushions, linen, furniture um, from a local stylist or somebody who um, had been a stylist and, and wanted to sell off a lot of her stock. Um, so we picked it up and we're trying to find room for it. It's a bit messy at the moment. We'll, we'll get it in there but it just all needs to be sorted. I think Phoebe needs to go through all these accessories and linen and see what can be used. And, yeah. Okay. Counting everything. Yeah, it's all got to go into the database. So got the database. Yeah. What's on today? This mostly. <laughs> um, we got one pack up in Everson Park, uh, which was a pretty decent size, but aside from that, yeah, we're just going to be sorting out this. And everything that's coming back from the pack up. And everything that comes back from the pack up. So. That'll be my day today. So we'll leave it there for this week. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend and we will see you next week.